Thanks to artificial intelligence, Co-Diagnostics 10.7 gives you many additional possibilities. Let's explore the merged AI model tool that you access on the plus menu. Let's see what we can do with it. Here, you see the benefits of the new artificial intelligence. In the previous version, 10.6, you used to see every tooth separated, every jaw separated. Now, you can merge every object so you can switch off the maxilla, for example, and you only have the bone and the teeth on the mandible or vice versa. Of course, you can just switch on and off just the bone or just the teeth. If you plan to print the model, bone and teeth separately and want to insert the teeth in the alveolus, you should merge first the teeth, then the bone, and then you can export and print this separately to fit the models. We recommend exporting or merging each jaw separately, or you can do the separation later in the 3D printer nesting software. So, let's merge the teeth of the maxilla. At the bottom of the screen, we click on Merge Selected AI Models. They are calculated together and on the left side you have our merged AI model and we can show it to you by switching off everything else. We recommend using the right mouse button to rename this merged AI model and give it a clear name such as Merged AI Teeth Maxilla. So you will know what you have done in your selection, and you are done. You can do the same here on the plus menu, Merged AI Models, by combining every single tooth to have them together. And now, let's merge the teeth with the bone to have them connected. Let's do it again. Right mouse button, rename. Let's call it Maxilla Complete, and we are done. The merged models can be used for the virtual planning export as STL and printed on a 3D printer. To do this, go on Plan, Virtual Planning Export, Export as STL, click Next. Let's take the untouched export and here we have all the models. Let's export the complete model. In this case, let's just use the merged model and we can export the planning wherever we want. The same can be done just with the teeth as well. We have the teeth Click on Next. Here we have the teeth separately and we can just print that. Another possibility is to use these merged objects for matching. Normally the AI can do the matching and if you receive the results you can open the AI assistant window. Now we just want to see the scan alignment. After confirming this window we go on the scan alignment. We must confirm the front. And we see the matching of the AI, so you can check it. We recommend activating the fine alignment window. You can move it wherever you want. And scroll through everything. So you can control and correct it with the fine alignment in different views. However, if the matching is not correct, then you can use our merged object as the registration object in the matching tool. Let's check our matching tool. 
first we load the model scan and take the upper STL file for example. Now let's align to another object because something, like the alignment, is incorrect with the AI. And here we have our merged objects. We have the AI maxilla complete. We want to use this, not the lower arch. And we can go on like we used to in all the basic trainings, having our intraoral scans of the merged objects and now start to select, as a minimum, three areas or regions. Do not make them too small. And if you have the possibility, like here with a lot of teeth, select more than only three. So, we have five, we are okay, and we can go to the matching. Please note, every time, whatever happens, control and correct your matching as learned in the basic trainings. Here it looks particularly good, but let's check it in the second view like every time. Let's check the automatic function and we can confirm that it's properly matched. Now we can accept it and we have finished. These are the new functions with the 10.7 version. We hope you enjoy it.